So this problem is about maximizing profit. There's some problems like this on your homework and also on your extra credit worksheet. So you can follow along. So here a boat yard builds 18 foot and 22 foot sailboats. So the price function for 18 foot boats is P is equal to 7,000 minus 20 X. And the price function for 22 foot bolts is Q is equal to 80,000 minus 30 Y both in dollars. So suppose that the cost to build these boats is modeled by the function C of X, Y is equal to 3,000 X plus 5,000 Y plus 6,000. Find the quantities and prices that maximize profit. Also find the maximum profit. Okay, so if you remember, um, the way that we uh, talk about profit is the following way. So we know that profit is equal to um, the revenue minus the cost okay so revenue remember is the money coming in minus the cost which is the cost is how much it costs the, the producer to um, either make these things or any fixed costs um, now if you remember revenue was also equal to the price times the quantity so how much of each i i um I'm selling and then at what price? So we have two different prices, one for 18 foot boats and another one for 22 foot boats. So we have two different types of revenue. We have two different types of revenue coming in. We have one for the 18 foot boats and one for the for the 22 foot boats. So I'm gonna say red is gonna be the 18 foot boats and uh, green is gonna be the 22 foot boats. So uh, when I'm talking about my profit, my profit is going to be um, based on two different things. Whether I sell, uh, how many I sell for my 18 foot boats and how many I sell for my 22 foot boats. So for 18 foot boats, I know that the price for me, uh, that this uh, particular boat yard is, is uh, selling them for is 7,000 minus 20x okay now this is the price okay this is the price so if i want revenue i have to multiply it by the quantity well i don't know how many i'm selling so i'm just going to say x x is going to represent uh the amount that i'm selling for the 18 foot boats okay so x times the price that i sell it for then i'm going to add this um to the revenue that I get by selling the 22 foot boats and the 22 foot boats, the price of that is 8,000 minus 30Y. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply this by the quantity Y. So this is the price of the 22 foot boats. <coughs> Okay, so this is my revenue. This entire thing is my revenue. How much money I'm getting for the 18 foot boats and for the 22 foot boats. Then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna subtract this from the cost. And now the cost is all of this thing. So this is gonna be 3000X plus 5000Y plus 6000. All right, so now let's go ahead and, and, and combine a couple terms together. So what I'm gonna get after I distribute this X, I'm gonna get 7,000 X minus 20 X squared, uh, plus this is gonna be 8,000 Y minus 30 Y squared. Then this negative is gonna be distributed among all three terms. So negative 33,000 X, minus 5,000y minus 6,000, okay? So now let's combine a couple terms together. I can combine uh, these things. Um, so let me put the square terms first, negative 20x squared, uh, and then this minus 30y squared. So I'm, I'm getting rid of this thing, putting that in the front. Then combining these terms, 7,000 minus 3,000, that's going to give me positive 4,000 X. Uh, and then I'm going to combine this um, 8,000 with this 5,000. That's going to give me um, a positive 3,000 Y minus 6,000. Okay. So now this is my profit. Okay. 
So this is my profit function, the revenue minus the cost, okay? Now, what I want to do with this profit is I want to maximize it, okay? So in order for me to maximize it, I have to take the partial derivatives because when I take the partial derivatives, I'm finding the maximum and minimum points. So I'm going to first take the partial derivative with respect to x, okay? Now, what that's going to give me is, um, let me put that in a different color. So first, I'm going to start off with this one. This is going to give me negative 40x. This goes away. This is going to give me plus 4,000. Okay. This is going to go away, and this is going to go away. Okay. Now, for my uh, P of Y, uh, this part is going to go away. This is going to be, uh, oops, this should be a squared um, this is going to be negative 60y. Um, uh, this thing is going to go away. This thing is going to be uh, plus 3,000. And then this thing is going to go away. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to set both of this equal to 0. Okay. So now here I'm going to get negative 40x is equal to negative 4,000. I divide by negative 40 to both sides, and what I'm going to get is 100. So x equals 100. Solving this one, negative 60y is equal to 3,000. Um, then what I'm going to do is divide this by um, by 60, negative 60, and what I'm going to get is going to get be 50. Okay. So these are my two um, answers. So x, the quantity, right? In order for me to maximize profit, I have to sell a hundred of the of whatever X was, which was a uh, eighteen foot boats, and I had to sell this amount for my twenty two foot boats. So this is for eighteen foot. This was twenty two foot. Okay, I believe. Yes. Okay. So that's not quite what we want to find because we already found the quantity. So the quantity is good. So find the quantities. Now let's figure out what the prices are. Okay. So my prices are going to be depending on what the price functions were. So the price function for the for the 18 foot boat was 7,000 minus 20x. This is going to be 7,000 minus 20 times 100. Okay, so I can easily put that in my calculator, 7,000 minus 20 times 100. So the price of these amounts should be $5,000. So if I want to maximize my profit, I have to price these things at $5,000. Now, what about my 22-foot boat? For my 22-foot boat, um, let's see, I mean, what color should I use? Um, so Q in this case is going to be what? It's going to be 8,000 minus 30Y, because that's how much it costs, um, the price function for the 22 foot boats. Okay. Now Y in this case was equal to 50. So I'm going to do 8,000 minus 30 times 50. And what that's going to give me is going to give me 65. Oops, that's wrong. 6,500, not 65,000. That's a lot. 6,500. Okay, so here are my prices. So at x equals 100, um, that's going to achieve my, that's how many boats, 18 foot boats I have to sell for $5,000. I have to sell my 22 foot boats for 65,000, for 6,500. And how many should I sell? I should sell 50 in order for me to maximize this profit. Now, what will be my maximum profit? What is going to be this? So my maximum profit, all I got to do is now plug in the X and the Y. So profit P of X, Y. So X should be 100. Y should be 50. So let's see what my maximum profit should be. So I'm going to take negative 20, uh, 100 whole quantity squared minus 30, 50 times 50 squared plus 4,000 times 100 plus 3,000 times 50 minus 6,000, okay? So what should this give me? So I'm going to put this all into my calculator. It's going to be minus 20 times 100 squared uh, minus 30 times 50 squared. Um, 
plus 4,000 times 100 plus 3,000 times 50 and then I'm going to subtract that $6,000. And what I'm going to get for my maximum profit is, and you can check your work with me, 20, 26, 9, 0, 0, 0. So what I'm going to get is 269000 That's going to be my profit, my max profit. Okay, so it's a very lengthy problem. Um, also, something that I did not check was that this actually it will achieve your maximum profit the way that you can do that is just using the d test you can i'll leave that as an exercise so you can check that out but it's basically the same thing it's just the setup is a little bit different uh use but after you find your profit function set both of them equal set the derivatives equal to zero then solve and then you can go ahead and find your other the other things that you are looking for okay